Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys like we do every week here at Video Creators. Big CV wrote and asked this. Thank you for helpful tips. I always love to watch your videos because it always relates so closely to what I experience with my channel. I've been doing it for over a year now and am still not as established as I like to be. Some of my friends who started at the same time have a lot more subscribers than me. After watching your videos, I think my focus is wrong but how can I find my niche, what I'm good at, and that people will want me to do? Some stuff works well for others, but not for me, and I know to be successful, I have to be myself, but how do I go about finding what my YouTube style slash niche slash thing is? Thanks for your help. That's a good question. Now, if you let me read between the lines a little bit of what you're actually asking here, it sounds what you're saying is that my YouTube channel isn't growing because I picked the wrong niche or I have the wrong focus on my channel. And that could be true. What I found is that there's actually several common things that keep a YouTube channel kind of stuck in that sub 1,000 subscriber bracket, and I wanna give you three of them here today. The first one is that you really need to evaluate your channel's branding, and by that I don't just mean your header image, your channel icon, your branded intro, things like that. This is a much bigger conversation than I can probably have in just a short YouTube video. It kind of boils down to being able to answer questions both for yourself and for your viewers who specifically is this channel for? Why does this content matter? What difference does this make in someone's life? What value am I really delivering and giving to people through this video? Like why should they care about my videos and my channel? The easier you can answer those types of subconscious questions for your viewer, the easier it'll be for them to naturally gravitate to your content and to subscribe and become an active viewer of your channel. The second common thing that makes it difficult for channels to grow is poor titles and poor thumbnails. Guys, it doesn't matter how how awesome your video is if the billboard for that video isn't enticing, if it doesn't attract attention, if the title doesn't pitch value, why should I click this? Why should I watch this video? Your title and your thumbnail really need to work together to answer those questions for the viewer. Now that doesn't mean that you use titles and thumbnails that are misleading just to generate clicks and try to get views from it. That will backfire on you every single time. But instead, it's knowing what the true value of your video actually is, a value that you are presenting presenting to people through your content and then actually accurately teasing that information and that value through your title and your thumbnail. And number three, often creators who are stuck at under a thousand subscribers just have poor quality videos. And I don't mean poor quality just in this, you know, as in production value. I mean actual content value. So you gotta use some tools that are at your disposal to really help you craft better value in your videos and eliminate fluff if necessary and make a lot of those choices. So, you know, one great tool for that is using the audience retention graphs in your YouTube analytics that'll show you exactly when viewers are abandoned your video, where the drop-offs are happening, and to really start evaluating some of your videos and studying them, seeing the common trends. You know, whenever I start talking about this, or if I ramble about that for too long, or actually I lose about 20 to 30 percent of my audience in the first 10 to 15 seconds, you probably want to drop that branded intro completely. It's not adding any value to your viewers at all. And then you start learning that you need to start with better hooks at the beginning of your video to really pitch the value so people will keep watching it longer. There's just like a lot of different things you can learn from your audience retention score so definitely dig into those and of course the more time you spend crafting your videos the better at it you'll get just make sure you don't keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again so you make a hundred videos and then try to figure out like why have I just invested all this time in doing this and it's not going anywhere? Now, if that's you and you feel like for the amount of energy I'm putting into my channel, I should have more traction than I have, I would highly recommend you guys read my book. It's called 30 Days to a Better YouTube Channel. And it is a very practical step-by-step -step system that when I run channels through it, like personally in my consulting practice stuff, 100% of them see exponential improvement after only 30 days. The first three days are free and even if you don't buy the book, I highly I highly recommend you download just those first three days because those are the days that will start talking primarily about the branding that I first started off with. You know, why do your videos matter? Why should I subscribe to your channel? And what differences your videos make? Those types of questions, really wrestling through that so you can really integrate those types of themes into all your videos so that it's easy for people to be attracted to your content because they now know who you are, who your videos are for, why it's valuable to them, and why they should subscribe 
subscribe rather than them trying to have to take the time to dig into your channel and make those types of decisions on their own. A link to that book is in the description of this video. If you want to go click it, go check it out, find out more about it, see if it's the right for you. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What other common things do you see really contribute to a channel being stuck at that like under 1,000 subscriber mark or just kind of stuck overall? And if that's you and you feel stuck, definitely read some of the comments that people are leaving down there. I know you'll find some really helpful advice beyond what I've shared here from all the other creators down there. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Thursday we do some Q&A just like this. On Tuesday, I give you guys some YouTube updates and news of things that are happening that are changing this platform we're working on. On Wednesday, I give you guys some YouTube tips. And guys, I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread, that the world needs to hear, and I wanna do everything I can to help you guys grow your audiences and spread your message so that they reach the people and that they hear what you have to say and hopefully their lives are changed as a result. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.